Welcome back to our channel. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> what is up guys? Ooh, my camera's a little crooked. I'm just too hyped to film this video. Thank you for watching. Welcome back. If you're new to the channel or to the fam, I'm Jordan and this is Sadie. Christian, well, I'm, I wanna call her Mercedes with like a short, Sadie for short. Oh, my girl. Uh, you guys have been waiting for this video for so long. Christian and I have been saying for almost a year that we wanted to get a puppy, and we finally ended up getting a purebred golden retriever puppy. She is only seven weeks old. We are in love with her. We are obsessed. Look how tiny she is. Can you say hi to the tubes? Say hi to YouTube. Oh, oh, the puppy yawns. Oh, I cry every time. You wanna lay down? She's so tired. I wanted to just come on, intro this video, kind of let you guys know, oh my gosh, she's so tired, a little bit about how we got her and like the little backstory. Cause we've been looking for a puppy for a really long time actually. Oh, hi, hi, oh, oh, the puppy kisses. Um, and then I'm also gonna insert a bunch of vlog footage with myself, Christian, my boyfriend, just playing with her for the past few days. Um, so you guys can actually see some live footage of her like running around. But yeah, I did want to come on and do a little chat about how we got her. Um, so I told you guys when I was first starting looking for a puppy that I was pretty set on adopting. I really wanted to rescue or adopt a dog and give a dog a good home that otherwise didn't have one or if a dog had been abused or anything like that. Um, when Christian was a little bit bigger and a little bit more responsible and ready to take in a dog. Um, and I had actually never found any purebred golden retrievers in the puppy stage at adoption facilities. I'm sure if I kept looking and stuff, I, you know, I could have found one. Um, but we looked at a few places and I want to say we've been looking maybe for like over six months. Um, and I also considered a yellow lab because, hi my girl, because I grew up with a yellow lab. Um, but it's funny, so recently I started going to therapy. Total other opposite subject that I could go off on and talk about. Oh, don't bite my hand, don't bite my hand. Um, not, not because of any crazy like life incident that made me wanna go, but I think it's just really good and really healthy to talk to someone just about everything going on in life, especially with YouTube. I'm isolated at home all day, you know? Um, and it's just good to talk to someone. You know, I, I had some struggles raising Christian. Oh, she's everywhere you know, on my own for so long and just a lot of things that I think would be really healthy for me to talk to someone about and I'm not, I feel like it doesn't get talked about enough. You wanna go down? I'm not like ashamed of it or anything. I have tons of friends and family in therapy just, you know, for the reason that it's healthy and you wanna get your feelings out and whatever. I'm going off on a tangent, but, so I went into therapy last week and I opened the door and uh, instead of my therapist assistant opening the door, there's a little puppy up on the floor. And I was like, oh my gosh, give her to me. She was so tiny, like the size of my hand. I think she was, that one was only like five weeks old. Um, and my neighbor ends up telling me that she got her from her neighbor. And I said, oh my God, your neighbor, is she selling puppies? Like, what is she, a breeder? What does she do? She's like, no, no, no. Um, they have two Goldens. And before they were able to get the female Golden fixed, she ended up getting pregnant on accident. Um, I think she said in total, they had eight puppies. And she was like, they're not breeders. They literally can't take care of the dogs. They're all gonna get put up for adoption. She's like, they need really really good homes she only ended up getting one because they were neighbors they knew her they trusted her um, so she ended up giving me this lady's phone number and I'm really grateful that the lady was so 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 strict and asked me tons of questions about my house and if I could afford like vet bills if I was to take on the dog she you could tell she was not just trying to like give puppies away to people to make a quick buck um, they they actually have two goldens that they've had for I want to say like over 10 years she gave me a full rundown on all the health stuff with Goldens and every single shots and deworming and food that they need, like the highest quality of everything. I feel very, 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 very confident with the lady we ended up getting Sadie from. Um, she was incredible. We went and met up with her, with my boyfriend and Christian for like an hour and just talked about everything. I had already done a ton of previous research on Goldens and also one of our family friends, Rose, um, she, we've known her my whole life. She's actually a dog trainer full time. So she called me last week. We had like a two hour phone conversation on getting the puppy a trainer as soon as possible. Um, like once a week to come to my house. And then also um, like I'm not gonna use potty pads. I'm gonna specifically take the dog out every single time onto the porch, onto the artificial grass to potty train her properly. We've already put her in her crate for the first two nights. She slept in her crate both nights. I'm not gonna teach her to sleep in our bed. I wanna just train her so properly from day one so that she's super, super well behaved um, and I want to just be strict with her uh, of course so 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 loving and all over her and kissing her and enjoying the puppy phase but I do want to raise her the right way and I want to make sure that when we walk her on the leash like that's proper and just especially with Christian I want to make sure that I train her 
just completely properly. So I'm planning on going to puppy classes and having a trainer come to my house maybe like once a week. Um, luckily we do have our friend Rose who can give me an awesome recommendation on someone who's been doing it for years, who's incredible with Golden specifically. What are you doing? But um, yeah, we went to pick her up, what is it now, three days ago? Um, we had to pick her up like an hour away down by the beach. So we had a nice little road trip. And yeah, I just wanted to come on and do a little chit chat, obviously show you guys her. I don't think you can tell on camera how tiny she is. She's just a little chunky. Hi guys, hi guys. Oh, she's like, what is this camera? You wanna go down? Um, so yeah, we are so in love with her. Um, when we went and got her, there was three or four other um, sisters as well, and I wanted them all. Like, I felt so bad. I literally wanted them all. But let me tell ya. Let me tell ya, okay? One is enough. Uh, your girl has got about two hours of sleep the past three nights, and that's okay. I know that's how it's gonna be. I know it's like having a newborn baby, um, but she's so, so, so cute, and just already love her so much, uh, but I know it's gonna be so, so, so much work as well. So, uh, you know? Just with potty training, and then I know up until she gets her last vaccines at like 17 or 18 weeks, you can't really take her outside much. Oh, that's something I wanted to mention. You're about to see a vlog clip of Christian and I. We did take her to Starbucks with us. Um, I got a coffee and I just got her one of those little pappuccinos, and we set her on the ground for maybe like a, I don't know, realistically maybe two to three minutes. We were walking outside past a store. I made sure that there was no grass, there was no other area that any other dog had gone pee or poop because I know she's super prone to parvo up until 18 weeks, I believe. A lot of you messaged me because I put that on Instagram and you're like, don't set her on the ground. So I totally got it. We're gonna really keep her inside until all of her vaccinations are done. And we are gonna take her on our patio to pee on this like artificial grass that I bought online. So they know to pee on the grass, but they don't go outside to pee on the grass where like other dogs have gone. You just have to be very careful until they're like four to five months old. Um, and she is only seven weeks. She's seven weeks and like two days old. So, oh, she's just so cute. So I hope you guys are excited for us. We've been wanting a dog for so long. Thank you for all the love on Instagram, all the suggestions. Leave any comments below. If you have a golden, any tips and tricks, I'm so open to suggestions. And I wanna actually shoot into all this vlog footage that I have to share with you guys because it's freaking adorable. So yeah, thanks for watching. Be sure you're subscribed, give the video a like, and I hope you guys enjoy. So we just came to get Chipotle real quick after we got the puppy. The minute we come in here, she falls asleep. Oh my gosh, she's so precious. We ended up getting her this little collar. Um, we got a harness too for when we walk her, but we just got something small that I could put my name on and my phone number in case, God forbid, she ever got lost or anything. But babe, she knocked right out. She's so cute. Good morning, Rosie. Rosie. So we're on day two with the puppy. We haven't officially named her Rosie. Um, we don't know what we're gonna name her. We're kind of going back and forth between Mercedes and Sadie. We ended up buying this little playpen at PetSmart on the way home. We got her a really comfy bed, her water, her food. Good morning. And also I can get over here. Good morning. Yeah, there's a little doggy door right here. She's gonna learn how to get out. Let's see if she can get out on her own. Look, babe. It goes, can you get out? Come get out. She doesn't know what to do with it. Try to get out, my love. God, she is so precious. Hop out, hop out right here. Right here, baby, hop out. She's scared. Oh my girl. Come here. Oh, good morning. Mom, can I hold her? Of course. You wanna go, baby girl? Go to Christian. Oh. Remember, we hold her very nice and we always hold her butt because her, her limbs are very sensitive. Now put her on your, put her on your, on your lap. No, 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 put her on your lap. Oh. Baby, put her on your lap. You don't want to scare her. Put her on your lap. Good. That's my little girl. Oh. Careful of her arms, Caref <laughs> careful of her limbs, because she's a baby. Ah! She's like, what is this camera? What is this camera? Go, 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 go. Oh, look at that tail wag. Good morning, YouTube. die. Good morning, my loves. Oh my god. I need to frame this. Good morning. I love you so much. Good morning. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Oh. Hi, 
Good girl. Good morning. We love you. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. We're on day two with the pup. We are going to go ahead and put her little, um, I got a little soft harness for her because we're going to take her on her first walk. Come here, my girl. <laughs> oh, she's super hyper right now. She's so ready to get this walk done. We're going to go to Starbucks and get her a little Pappuccino. <gasps> oh, you look so cute. It fits perfectly. Just kind of like this little harness. I got to take the tag off. Look how cute you look. Say good morning to the YouTube. See guys, I was such a good puppy last night. I woke up my mommy every time I had to go out. I never peed in the house. I bought this um, artificial like grass turf for the patio and she went on it every time she had to go. I've never heard of that happening with a puppy who is brand new. Cause I know, you know, potty training and stuff takes a few weeks. Oh, the puppy yawn. You got the leash, Christian? I like yeah. this little harness on her, it's so cute. I gotta take off the tag. Girl. Oh, the puppy yawn. Oh, the puppy yawn. Are you so ready for a puppuccino? Are you ready? <laughs> yeah, Aw, just a boy and his dog. Oh my god, I can't get over how precious she is. Okay. Okay, finally made it. Got a little puppuccino. We're in the shade, baby. It's okay. We're not going to stay too long because it's very hot for her, but we're going to let her sit in the oh shade god, for a minute. Oh, she loves it. Oh, baby, you don't have to sit on the floor with her. You can sit at the table. You're so sweet. Ever since we got her, Christian is just like inseparable. How cute is she eating this? Oh, my girl. She was kind of squirming a bit because she's obviously never used to having a harness or a leash. Hold on, hold on. And we are going to actually do professional puppy training with her. We're going to have someone come to our house um, so she can be trained properly on how to go on the leash and how we discipline her and just, just to make the transition really smooth. And I want to make sure we raise her properly and she's very well behaved. Only positive reinforcement. I don't believe in like spanking puppies or, excuse me, anything negative. So hopefully we can just train her the right way. Oh, you love her? She's our girl. She's our girl. She loves it. Here, love. Here, go. Here, go, my baby. 